Hey there! Welcome to another week of Earthworks. Today, we're going to press leaves and flowers and then use them along with other natural elements to create an entirely fully biodegradable collage, much like the contemporary artist Anastasia Kovaleva. But before we dive in, what does biodegradable mean? So biodegradable refers to the ability of materials to break down and return to nature. So this means that they can sort of decompose back into natural elements within a short time after disposal, typically within a year or less. And this is important for us to think about as artists because if we're using biodegradable materials, we are not contributing to systems of consumption or systems that are not good for the earth. And what is challenging about that though is a lot of the things that we own or have today are made from plastics or things that are not biodegradable. So today we have the opportunity and the privilege to think about what does it mean to create a fully biodegradable piece of art. So why is it important to use biodegradable materials? Well, particularly as artists and for us in Earthworks, we've been thinking a lot about what it means to use materials or create projects that help us be a good steward of our planet. What does it mean to care for the earth while we pursue creativity? And when we use biodegradable materials, we are using things that come from the earth, that represent the earth, that bring awareness about the earth, but then ultimately return to it. So then we're not contributing to systems that are detrimental to our planet, and we are able to consciously create in a way that we know is good and okay for the environment. And so today, um, we are going to look at that and we are going to use all natural materials. So here is what you'll need. You're going to need a few different things before we get started. You'll want to grab any type of sort of larger paper surface. So I'm using the back of old sheet music. You could use wrapping paper. You could even use paper towel, wax paper, anything like that from around your home. Then you're going to want to grab a book. You'll want some dried plants or flowers, or not dried. I'm going to show you in a minute how to flatten and press and dry those. You'll want some paper scraps and any other uh, biodegradable materials in your house. So it might be old fabrics, it might be newspaper, it might be toilet paper, um, and even some foods like dried beans or rice those work as well. And at the very end, you're going to want a phone or a camera to snap a picture of what you make. So as I mentioned for this project, you might want a few dried plants and pressed plants or flowers. And so you're going to want to begin with your book. And you can open up to a page in your book and you'll want to place a leaf or some petals um, or a plant in there and close it. And then what you'll want to do is put something heavier on top of the book for a few days, maybe even a week, um, and that will really kind of take the moisture out of the plant as well as flatten it for your use for this project. So then when you open back up, this is obviously the plant I just put in there, but after a few days, it's a nice and flat plant ready to create with. So for this next part, you're going to want a nice, large, flat surface to work on. Um, I'm, like I said earlier, using the backs of old sheet music and I've kind of placed them together here. And you'll notice that there's a little bit of text on it. It's okay if you have a little bit of text and pattern, but you want it to be fairly neutral and plain so that it doesn't detract from uh, what you're about to do with your collage. So then, uh, like the artist I showed you earlier, you can begin laying items on top of your surface. And it's good to start with your larger items. So I'm using some of the fabric um, that I mentioned earlier and kind of placing that for some visual interest. And then I'm going to begin laying down my larger pressed leaves and my larger um, P3 
pieces of paper. Paper scraps that I mentioned. And then from there, you can really play with where you place things. Um, you might make something that is highly representational. So you could do something like over here if I did a smiley face. Or like the artist, Anastasia. You can make it as abstract and playful as possible. Um, now, you are not married to any of these compositions. You do not need to leave them this way. You can really just play around with form until you find something that works for you. I would encourage you to try a few different compositions and just sort of explore uh, the ways that these natural elements are working together and in conversation with one another. So this is my finished project. I really chose colors that I'm drawn to, so I chose some warmer greens, some more olivey warm tones. You can see that's I'm wearing that color today. It is absolutely one of my favorite colors. And then to break up that, I added some of these bright purple uh, miniature roses here. And I really love flowers, so I really wanted quite a bit of flora in my composition. And then to break up the warmth of those tones, I put in some more bluish green pieces of paper. And that is all sort of drawn out and complemented by the way that this lace back here naturally creates pattern. Um, and now that I'm all done, much like the artist, she will photograph her work at the very end. So what I would like you to do and what I'm going to do is snap a photo of my finished product. And then what we can do with that is post it, show people, tell people about this artist, and you can use our hashtag for creating during this time, which is hashtag cultureworks creates community. So once you've photographed your finished composition, you're welcome to glue those pieces down and make it a little more permanent, or you can return all of those things right back to the earth. And that's the beauty of biodegradable materials. It was a pleasure creating with you today, and we will see you next time.